Hey, who's ready for science-based technology nightmares today? Scientists have developed nanobots which can be deployed in the millions to treat brain aneurysms. And you can turn your sperm into robots that can treat your cancer. We'll talk about it. A group of researchers created nanobots which are capable of delivering clotting medication and cutting off blood supply to an aneurysm before they ever make a cut. These little guys are directed towards the aneurysm itself. Once they reach their desired destination, they'll stop swarming and start sticking to each other using the powers of magnets. They'll then release those clotting factors and a surgeon can come in and cut it out. This is potentially a much safer way of treating it and could save thousands of lives. 500,000 people lose their life to an aneurysm globally every year and that number is probably higher. Those are just the ones that we record. But how do you feel about sperm bots treating your cancer? Now, if you want something swimming around inside of you, you may as well use something that's already designed to do that. Scientists have made sperm bots both using living sperm and designing robots after their architecture. This could be used in a number of ways, one of which may be fertility treatment. If you don't have functional sperm, then you might just build a robot to do the job. The other application is you can direct sperm to release medication. And you shouldn't have an amine reaction if it's made from your own sperm. Which you might think, hey, that's a problem. Only men can have that. Nope, we can make sperm out of female cells too. Now, if you're asking yourself, how do you get it in there? And then what does it do when it gets there? If you're not aware, sperm do sometimes go swimming into places they shouldn't be. The ovary is not actually connected to the duct directly, and sometimes you have an egg find its way out and the sperm go after it using a process called chemotaxis. This is why we hear stories about women who've ended up having an ectopic pregnancy on their liver or lung. So why not just have a little cyborg sperm going to treat your cancer?